हेलो गाइस इज नोना प्रिंस एंड टुडे विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट डियर कॉम्रेड दैट इज बाय भारत कम्मा स्टारिंग विजय देवरकोंडा एंड रश्मिका मंदाना फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई फाउंड अ लॉट ऑफ फ्लॉज इन दिस फिल्म बट इट वाज अ गुड फिल्म बिकॉज़ आई कुड सी द अटेम्प्ट टू मेक अ गुड फिल्म इट वाज नॉट हाफ डन वर्क दैट दे वर ट्राइंग टू मेक अ रियली गुड फिल्म बट देयर वर अ लॉट ऑफ फ्लॉज इन इट बट एट लीस्ट दे ट्राइड द फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम वाज आई वाज रियली कंफ्यूज्ड व्हाट द फिल्म इज अबाउट is it a love story is it about self discovery is it coming of age story or is it about women harassment now it can be all that but it has to be coherent which it wasn't now the concept of comrade was very very interesting but it wasn't the main string of the plot it gets introduced by the grandfather but it all happens in the narration we never really see his grandfather's perspective and him doing anything it's just what we hear about him and his character feels wasted ideally the whole film should have been around the concept of comrade but it was only done in the first 30 minutes and the last 20 minutes of the film a film which is 2 or 45 minutes long i don't think that justifies it one thing i really liked was the way the harassment and events following it was shown it really delves into what really happens when something like this happens in real life to people and the families who suffer from this in reality it didn't shy away from it it shows how hard it is the problems people face and i like that they dive deep into it and it was not just surface level like most movies so at first i was getting some arjun reddy vibes from the film from vijay devrakonda but later it went away i started seeing him as the character bobby now anger management is a big theme in most of vijay devrakonda's films now i don't know it comes from him himself or the people who write considering him in mind no idea but it's fascinating to note that sound healing was something i didn't know about and it was very informative to know how it can help in mental health but later the, i felt like mental health was not shown properly in the film it was very poorly represented now one of the biggest flaws for me was failure of character arc for bobby now i have talked about it a lot of times about hero's journey you can see it on screen right now and this is not a rule it's not that you have to have it in every film but this is something that works if it's in a film if it's your protagonist's journey now in a hero's journey the hero he is not willing to change then something happens that he has to change he goes through that change he learns something new and when the cycle completes before that he is tested that whatever he learned whatever changes he has brought into him will he stick to them so that test is very important now it's not necessary that the hero has to pass that test but because that will define what the character is if he passes that that means he's progressed and defeated his evils and if he fails that means he couldn't do it and there's a whole other arc that character can have but here i think it was the best possible test for him to test if he has really given away his anger his frustration him getting violent every time to know that your loved one was harassed and you couldn't do anything that's the worst thing anyone would get violent and go beat people up and kill them and this was his biggest test and he failed it he goes up and beats that guy and then he says i'll do a complaint against you now this undoes everything that the whole first half was about the whole chunk of the plot is now useless and the story is just about him getting justice for her now i like to play devil's advocate so to defend what i just said if he didn't beat that guy that would show that the film is using this woman harassment for for his character arc and not using it as a social message because in the last 30 minutes it became story of lily and not bobby if what i wanted had really happened that would give a bad signal out that they just used that women harassment thing just to progress his character arc and that's bad so you see how difficult it is to make a film but again coming to that point if the film had not spent so much time on his character development that he, about his anger management and him getting better i think it would have made sense but if they had showed the whole first half about that then at the end doing that it doesn't make a sense it just destroys whatever you have built up now the best part of the film for me was the chemistry between the two leads it was just lovely it was not love at first sight it was for me though rashmika mandana i just fell in love with her the moment she appeared on the screen do you feel the same way it was very unorthodox love story which is shown in cinemas it was very organic they met they didn't like each other slowly they liked each other and then they fell in love with each other also adding the fact that bobby proposed lily's elder sister before when he was young that really adds depth to his character because generally it's like hero likes someone he'll get that girl that's it that's the story but here it wasn't that that adds so much to him 
that he fell in love before but it didn't work out it's okay it also adds to why he feels so angry every time the movie didn't show that to us but it's for us to you know decipher and see oh that makes sense the relationship between them took time you know there were events happening one after the other and that's you could see how it was building up how they were falling in love with each other it felt real a technical aspect i didn't like was the dubbing for the selector guy who harassed her like i don't know why i saw it in telugu on amazon prime i don't know if it was due to amazon prime's problem but that would have affected everyone's but his like he was saying something else the dubbing was something else not not even single word matched with his lips i don't know why tell me in the comments if you feel the same one incoherency was the style of the film you know throughout the film most part you know the action is very real like okay I, it was believable that okay he is good at fighting he takes fight up with everyone he f- fights people he is strong it was believable okay throughout the film but out of nowhere there were some mass sequences like the hero can do anything one particular sequence in the jail when the police ask him to sign that papers he says no and then his hands are cuffed and he uses that cigarette and suddenly a dramatic music comes up the hero with music like it was out of nowhere and it didn't fit in the film at all it really threw me out of the film and that's not a good thing there were really great shots sprinkled throughout the film which is acting when he is in ladakh i think roaming around shouting you know he pulls that off without a sweat even the shot in the beginning in the bathroom i think for some time it was a single shot until the they start fighting at the end after watching the film the story works you know you see different aspects of it the film doesn't come together as a whole but it works in parts so guys that's it thank you for watching this video if you like this thumbs up if you didn't thumbs down no problems at all i know it's been so long two weeks no videos at all but december will be full of videos and i hope you enjoy them too if you like this thumbs up if you didn't thumbs down no problems at all so if you are new to the channel check out other videos comment your thoughts on the film and on this video and i'll see you next time